So today we are going to go through the implant process here at Cedar Village Dentistry. Um, I'm excited to say we have some of the best technology that allows us to um, provide our patients with exceptional care and just an overall great process. Um, the first step here is taking a uh, intraoral scan um, and this eliminates any of the impression material that you may, may have noticed in the old days going on. So you just take this wand here and go ahead and big for me and we can just start scanning here and everything is in color Great. Okay. so this is our final result with um, our intraoral scanner you can see how it shows up in actual color with everything it shows where the space is um, and we are actually planning the implant in this space here um, so it's kind of cool we can actually eliminate that lower arch there, flip this on the side there, and actually show uh, everything right there as far as that space and start planning everything out. So one of the big advantages here at Cedar Village Dentistry is uh, the technology that we use um, to make sure that we're keeping our patients safe and keeping everything accurate. So um, what we have is a three-dimensional image of our um, patient that we are placing the implant. Um, into that space right here. Um, so we can actually go into great detail, measure out how much space we have until we get to the sinus there, and then how wide the actual space there is overall. Um, so really cool um, use of the technology here to actually just measure out what size implant's gonna be perfect for our patient. Um, and then taking this a step further, um, we will actually show um, how we combine this x-ray with the intraoral scan that we showed earlier um, to um, digitally plan where the implant's gonna be. So after we take the 3D image and uh, we take the intraoral um, scan of everything, we can actually go into our computer software merge everything and actually digitally plan where do we want the implant so that it's perfectly coming right down the middle of the tooth there um, and right really right next to that sinus there and not into the sinus there overall but you can move it every which way um, and just digitally plan it so that it's into the perfect position overall after we have our implant planned exactly where we want in our computer software um, we are able to utilize our 3D printer um, to be able to print the model of um, the patient's mouth and also the surgical guide um, preparing us for placing the implant in the mouth. 3D printed model um, and you can see that space where we've been talking about planning the implant overall. Um, you can just see the accuracy in the print there. Um, and so what we have for that we created was the surgical guide. Um, and this actually snaps into place and this will snap into the patient's mouth there um, so that we can put it right down the middle overall. And here is the final photo of the implant right down the middle, right exactly where we had originally planned. Um, just showing from start to finish um, how accurate this process can be and just making sure that we're providing awesome results for our patients. I had two implants placed about a week and a half ago. Um, I had them done on a Friday and was back to work by Monday. I'm really glad that Dr. Julie encouraged me to move forward with it because I had put it off for quite some time. Um, looking back now, it definitely was not um, as bad as I expected. Um, definitely getting the tooth taken out was much more painful than having the implant placed. Um, so I'm very, very grateful.